Design of Machine Elements Test Set Number 1 Question 1 in design process, which step is followed after defining the problem? A. Analysis B. Synthesis C. Optimization D. Evaluation Answer Synthesis Question 2 For brittle materials having static load, factor of safety is given as the ratio of fill in the blank A. Endurance strength and design stress B. Design stress and allowable stress C. Working stress and allowable stress D. Ultimate strength and design stress Answer, ultimate strength and design stress. Question 3. The ratio of endurance strength and allowable stress is used to determine FOS for, fill in the blank. A. Fatigue loading. B. Static loading of brittle materials. C. Static loading of ductile materials. D. All of the above. Answer, fatigue loading. Question 4. Which of the following factors are not considered while selecting values for factor of safety? A. Cost. B. Failure consequences. C. Degree of uncertainty about loading and material. D. None of the above. Answer, none of the above. Question 5. What is the step ratio for our 40 series? A 1.44 B 1.05 C 4.0 D 0 0.4 Answer, 1.05 Question 6. Punching operation is an example of A. Static load B. Impact load C. Fluctuating load D. None of the above Answer, impact load. Question 7. Torsional shear stress is the stress induced when a component is subjected to equal and opposite, fill in the blank. A. Forces acting in perpendicular direction. B. Couples acting in perpendicular direction. C. Couples acting in parallel planes. D. Forces acting in parallel direction. Answer, couples acting in parallel planes. Question 8. What is bearing pressure? A. Compressive force acting on the contact area between two components having relative motion between them. B. Tensile stress acting on the contact area between two components having relative motion between them. C. Compressive force acting on the contact area between two components having no relative motion between them. D. Compressive stress acting on the contact area between two components having relative motion between them. Answer, compressive stress acting on the contact area between two components having relative motion between them.
Question 9 Compressive stress acting on the contact area between two components having no relative motion between them is known as crushing stress. A. True. B. False. Answer, true. Question 10 Stress induced on contact area between cotter and socket collar is, fill in the blank. A. Tensile stress. B. Direct shear stress. C. Crushing stress. D. None of the above. Answer, crushing stress. Question 11 Which among the following is a type of transmission shaft? A. Spindle shaft. B. Crankshaft. C. Counter shaft. D. All of the above. Answer, counter shaft. Question 12 Which of the following statements is R false for an axle? A. It is used to support rotating machine elements. B. It can transmit torque. C. It is subjected to axial force. D. All of the above. Answer, it can transmit torque. Question 13 Which material cannot be used to manufacture shafts? A. Plain carbon steels. B. Cast iron. C. Both A and B. D. None of the above. Answer, cast iron. Question 14 Which type of key consists of two square tapered keys placed 90 degrees apart? A. Tangent key. B. Kennedy key. C. Saddle key. D. Woodruff key. Answer, Kennedy Key. Question 15 Calculate diameter of shaft using maximum shear stress theory, when equivalent torque of 1000 multiply 10 cubic meter newton millimeter x on the shaft. 50 by is the allowable shear stress for the shaft. A. 100.9 millimeters. B. 319.15 millimeters. C. 46.70 mm. D. Insufficient data. Answer. 46.70 mm. Question 16 in SN diagram. The graph plotted between fatigue strength and number of stress cycles becomes horizontal for which type of materials? A. Ferrous materials. B. Non-ferrous materials. C. Both A and B. D. None of the above. Answer, ferrous materials. Question 17 Calculate lead angle of a thread which has mean diameter of 45 mm and lead of 10 mm. A. 8.5 degrees. B. 4.04 degrees. 
C 3.02 degrees. D. None of the above. Answer, 4.04 .04 degrees. Question 18 Calculate overall efficiency of power screw. If the torque applied by the operator is 150 multiply 103 to move a load of 30 kN through a distance of 10 mm. A. 22.36% B. 37.69% C. 31.83% D. 30.23% Answer, 31.83%. Question 19 Determine torque required to overcome collar friction in square threaded screw. If coefficient of friction is 0.12 and axial force of 20 kN is exerted by the screw. Mean radius of friction collar is 20 mm. A. 48,000 N mm. B. 120 N mm. C. 4800 Newton mm. D. 12000 Newton mm. Answer. 48000 Newton mm. Question 20 Which type of stress is induced in a screw thread? A. Torsional shear stress. B. Buckling load. C. Bearing pressure. D. All of the above. Answer. Bearing pressure. Question 21 A single start square threaded power screw supports load of 30 kN which has outer diameter of 30 mm and a pitch of 8 mm. Maximum shear stress of 30 N per mm2 is induced in a screw body. Determine number of screw threads considering direct shear stress. A. 3 threads. B. 2 threads. C. 4 threads. D. None of the above. Answer. 3 threads. Question 22. Which among the following statements is are true? 1. Fracture of bolts occurs due to uneven distribution of impact energy. 2. Castle nut is a locking device. 3. Fine threads are stronger than coarse threads. 4. Coarse threads apply more resistance when loosened. A. Statement 2 and Statement 3. B. Statement 1 and Statement 2. C. Statement 3 and Statement 4. D. All of the above. Answer, Statement 1 and Statement 2. Question 23 Which of the following threads have greater pitch and lead angle for a given nominal diameter when compared with each other? A. Coarse threads. B. Fine threads. C. Both A and B. D. None of the above. Answer, coarse threads. Question 24 Which type of screw fasteners are threaded at both the ends? A. Through bolt. B. Tap bolt. C. Studs. D. All of the above.
Answer, studs. Question 25 What does the designation M16X2 indicate? A. ISO Metric fine thread B. ISO Metric coarse thread C. BSF Metric coarse thread D. BSF metric fine thread Answer, ISO. Metric fine thread. Question 26 Which type of screw fasteners are threaded throughout its length? A. Cap screws. B. Set screws. C. Studs. D. Tap bolt. Answer, set screws. Question 27 Which type of joint is used if plate thickness is less than 5 mm? A. Single E by weld. B. Single U by weld. C. Square by weld. D. Double U weld. Answer, square by weld. Question 28 Which welding symbol is shown below? A. Lap joint. B. Single E bud joint. C. Double fillet weld. D. Single fillet weld. Answer, single fillet weld. Question 29 Calculate strength of the welded joint shown below, when 70 mpa is the allowable shear stress for the weld material. A. 54.44 multiply 103 newton. B. 77 multiply 103 newton. C. 50 multiply 103 newton. D. None of the above. Answer, 54.44 multiply 103 newton. Question 30 Calculate weld throat thickness for the parallel fillet weld shown below. If allowable shear stress is 80 mpa and tensile load of 300 kN is acting on it. A. 2.6 mm B 9.56 mm C 9.86 mm D 8.36 mm Answer 9.86 mm Question 31 Calculate weld size if weld throat thickness for the fillet weld is 8.2 mm. A. 10 mm. B. 14.20 mm. C. 16.4 mm. D. 12 mm. Answer, 12 mm. Question 32 What is the wall's factor if spring index is 6? A. 1.477 B. 0 0.995 C. 1.252 D. None of the above. Answer, 1.252. Question 33 Why are mechanical springs used? A. To apply force. 
B. To store energy. C. To measure force. D. All of the above. Answer, all of the above. Question 34 Which of the following statements is are true? 1. In volute springs, number of active coils gradually decreases as load increases. 2. Stiffness of spring decreases as number of coils decreases in conical springs. 3. Torsion springs are generally spiral. 4. Helical torsion springs are used in automobile starters. A. Statements 1 and 3. B. Statements 2, 3 and 4. C. Statements 1, 3 and 4. D. All of the above. Answer, statements 1, 3 and 4. Thanks for watching. Please comment, like and share.